Hello, my name is Tyson Romanik and I'm a portfolio manager here at Baker Boyer. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the debt ceiling, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard in the news. Um, it's going to be coming more and more uh, of a headline in the news as we approach June, which is when Janet Yellen said the Treasury could run out of money. Um, but what does this mean for you and for, for you as an investor? Well, the bottom line is um, you hold government debt in the form of treasuries. And so what's coming into question is the government's ability to pay you back on those treasuries that you hold. Um, why this is important is the treasuries are considered the risk-free asset. And so they're not, one, they're not supposed to default. And then two, uh, every other security is, is priced based off of, off of that uh, treasury or risk-free asset. Um, so the government could not pay you back in two ways. Is one is, is the interest that it owes you on an annual basis. The second way is those maturities or those treasuries that come mature in that time frame where the government is in default, say June, July, or August, most likely, um, you could not get your principal back on that. And so that's what's really in question here. Now, I want you to remember this is an extremely unlikely situation. Um, you know, this I think has come about, this debt ceiling has come about, you know, 70, 80 times over the past, you know, 60, 70 years, and it always gets resolved. So remember that most likely before June, Congress will come to a resolution and, and this will all come to pass. Um, there is a possibility that they just temporarily, you know, remove the debt ceiling and just kick the can down the road, possibly to September. And that's when you, you're likely to see a possible government shutdown. Um, the third thing is, is this could just roll on into 2024 and they could just keep pushing it down the road. Um, so that's most likely what's going to happen. Again, this isn't an ability to pay its debt. It's, an, it's a willingness to, to pay debt. And we did actually see this kind of come to a head back in uh, 2011. Um, you know, the Congress couldn't agree on raising the debt ceiling. And so this all came into question back then. But this was the, the back in 2011, this was the first time that it actually came really into question. And so money managers didn't know what to do if the government defaulted on its debt. Since then, they've had a lot of time to think about it. And so there's been provisions put in place, you know, in case this were to come up again, and people kind of know what to do, how to price these assets, uh, what's going to happen, you know, are they allowed to hold them still? And so a, a lot of these, you know, issues that we saw back then have have actually been, I won't say resolved, but there are provisions put in place to, you know, help out on that front. Um, but you know, even though it's an unlikely situation as money managers for you guys, it's still our job to ask and look at what happens if this are to occur. And so we've worked with our money managers, our money market fund managers, um, and looked at this very closely. And there's, there's really three things to consider. Uh, the first thing is actually how many treasuries are we holding in our money market funds? Because we need liquidity. That's kind of the big uh, thing to remember is, you know, these are the safe assets, they're cash. We need to get cash from them. Um, and treasuries are actually a small portion of our money market funds. It's only about 7%. And really the ones we're worried about are those maturities of June, July, and August. And that's even a smaller fraction of, of that 7%. So it's not gonna have a big effect on the, on the overall portfolio. Uh, the second thing to, to look at is if these treasuries do go in vault, default, it'll cause a lot of market volatility. And the nice thing about our money market funds is the money market fund managers can actually move all of their assets to the Fed and write out this volatility. Um, the Fed has a limit to how much assets they can hold for money markets funds, and it's about $160 billion. And all of our money market funds are under that threshold, so the money market fund manager can just go to cash move all that cash and hold it at the Fed and ride this thing out. Uh, the third thing to remember, like I said, provisions were put in place. And so money market managers can hold defaulted assets where previously they couldn't. 
And why this is important is because um, when, you know, if, if there is a default and they're holding these assets, they don't have to dump all these assets on the market all at the same time, which would really crush the treasury market. And so they're able to hold on to them, kind of write it out. Like I said, it's not a question if they're gonna get their money, it's just when, and so they can hold it on until this whole thing gets resolved and then they get their money back by the end of it. Now, the other thing to kind of consider zooming out, what does this mean for treasuries in general, those ones with, with longer maturities? And I would say, you know, it's hard to say, but in 2011, um, the last time this happened, Mark, uh, treasuries actually rallied, which was, you know, not what a lot of people expected because people are worried about them defaulting, but you still have to remember, treasuries are the risk-free asset. And so in times of extreme volatility, people will still put their money into uh, these treasuries uh, to kind of ride out the storm. So on those further maturities, uh, we could actually see a rally uh, in these uh, assets. So um, the bottom line is to remember um, that where you see real market volatility is uh, in times where there are surprises. Think the Lehman Brothers failure, think the pandemic. This event is a very telegraph event. People have been preparing for it for a while. So it is unlikely to cause as extreme volatility as, as people think. Um, but it is something that we are monitoring very closely. So that being said, if you guys have any questions um, you know, about this, please reach out to us. We're happy to have that discussion with you. And if not, we'll see you next month.